Germany's chancellor fired the latest warning today as European leaders seem to grow more wary of immigrants, both from inside Europe and outside. Mark Phillips has more. It's a political ad in this month's election in Sweden. You don't have to speak the language to understand the message. An elderly white Swedish woman is being threatened by burqa-clad Muslim women. The ad was considered so offensive it was banned. But the right-wing Swedish Democratic Party made such significant gains in the elections on an anti-immigration platform that others came out to protest. There are a lot of people here in Sweden that does not agree with the things that has happened. A wave of anti-immigrant sentiment is sweeping across Europe. The forced expulsion from France of 8,000 Romanian gypsies so far this year is just the most visible example. This is a situation I had thought Europe would not have to witness again after the Second World War. And in Germany, Chancellor Angela Merkel, sensing the public mood, today hardened her stand against immigrants who failed to adopt German values, code for Muslims. They have to obey our laws, she said, including the laws on the rights of women. As recent waves of immigration, legal and illegal, have come in from Eastern Europe and from Africa and the Middle East, public opinion polls have shown a demand for stricter controls. Majorities from the mid-60% range to the mid-80s have been calling for tighter borders. Governments have, have seen the polls. They, they realize that the, the general public feel that governments have, are losing control. And so there, there has been, I think, a number of uh, rather desperate attempts to, to appear strong to populations. Yet the migrants are still arriving, these by boat in Spain. And the anti-immigrant reaction is still growing. Mark Phillips, CBS News, London.